Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to Let's Try Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. This is the latest expansion DLC for Surviving Mars, a game that is absolutely 100% a guilty pleasure of mine. I have hundreds of hours in this. It is one of my favorite things to do on my own, and even sometimes I remember to build a ramp. Um, this video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. You can find more information down in the doobly-doo, as well as a link to where you can get this game. Uh, Below and Beyond does launch on September the 7th, and um, as you might guess from the title, it does add two major new areas to the game. Um, that is below and beyond. The below refers to this. At some point quite early on in your exploration, at least in my experience thus far, you will find a passage that can lead under the surface of Mars. You'll have the option of sending an RC Explorer down right away, or you could choose to wait until you build this elevator before you do that, uh, because if you send down the RC Explorer, it won't have a way to come back up. Um, at that point, you can click this switch map button on the elevator, or we've got these new buttons down below that we can also interact with uh, to flip to the Mars underground view. And what you'll have is you'll start off with a very small, very dark area because there's no lights on the ground, but you can explore. You can send your rovers around to try to explore different passageways and tunnels down here. And sometimes you will also get dead ends, but you will be able to dig a little bit. I don't know if I can find a good spot for an example of this right here. There we go. We can do some clearing and dig out new tunnels and passageways to hopefully find new areas. There are a lot of anomalies to be found down here during exploration, as well as a multitude of different resources and you even, with technology, have the ability to expand down here. Here is my below ground dome with a handful of people living in it. In fact, too many people, apparently. Uh, I've got some homelessness over here. I'll just have to uh, maybe rebalance my dome or just build some more domes down here. You can see lots of resources. I have uh, two patches of rare metals, um, a patch of underground metals over here as well. Hell, I even had concrete, which is why I decided to develop the area around here because it seemed like a really rich area, a good spot to put down another little dome, generate some resources, and generally have it self-sustaining down below. Um, the exploration game down below here is really great, but one of the things you'll run into at some point is some of the things you need to build. I'm going to come right back to you there, Asteroid. One of the th Some of the things you need to build require a resource called exotic minerals. Now, I was able to find, through re following a trail of anomalies down here, a source of rare minerals to get things kickstarted, which was very useful. I think I got 40 rare minerals out of it, which was huge, because I think 40 is how much you need to build an underground dome. Yeah, 40. Um, but in addition to that, your biggest source of exotic minerals is not going to be underground. It's not even going to be on Mars. It's going to be further and further into space. With that, let me boot there back over to the surface of Mars. Colonists. I know we've got some Earth sick colonists. That's from my uh, my retirement dome. Uh, all right over here, I have a dome that's only for senior citizens because senior citizens don't work. Um, it just has retirement homes and stuff for them and no services. So they get Earth sick really quick and then they leave and then they don't cost us any food. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, is it ethical? I don't know. Does it work? Heck yeah. So we'll do that. All right. Let's talk about space, baby. One thing you'll get is you may have noticed a few pop-ups over here. Um, you will occasionally be able to detect some things in the greater solar system. Um, some of it comes automatically, but you can also boost the rate that it happens by building recon centers over here. You will get uh, events from locating um, pulsars, even like way out into the galaxy, uh, exoplanets, all kinds of things like that, that can give you money, it can give you science, it can give you more applicants, it can boost morale, lots of great events like that that are quite compelling. But one of the big things you're gonna get are asteroids and these asteroids can be worked for various materials what you will need before you can visit the asteroids is you will need an asteroid lander which basically looks like a rocket like all the others but does work slightly differently um we are going to go ahead and visit an asteroid now before i do i guess what i should do is i should fully scan these which will cost me 20 electronics, but we can get some specific information. Aha! So there's actually not a lot of exotic materials here on Saranyu. What about Akira? If I scan you, you are, you're rich in a quite a few things, although not exotic materials, which is still mostly what we're hoping for. Third time's a charm. 
Bam. Okay, that's a great one. So we're going to go to Vitormin. The other nice thing about Vitormin is we only just detected it, which is good because the asteroids are only within range for a limited amount of time. Once that time ticks out, the asteroid is no longer accessible, including if you had stuff on the asteroid, you could lose it if you don't leave by that point. But there you go. We'll go ahead and visit Vitormin. I'm going to do that. Um, we are going to have to load the cargo onto your launcher. One of the things to be careful about with the fuel is the your fuel requirements. I think 35 is the normal one, um, but because I'm Paradox Interactive, it costs me 10 more. And I've actually unlocked another tech um, that add an extra 20. It gives me a huge amount more cargo capacity, but I now need 65 fuel. So do uh, pay attention to that. Otherwise, you could easily strand your little rocket. I'm going to send a prefab of my Micro G Auto Extractor, which is going to let me mine a, the um, exotic minerals, or actually let me mine pretty much anything, I think, on there. You can also send habitats where people can live and you can you can send colonists to these asteroids temporarily to work that and work these mining stations but i'll use the auto extractor that's going to be okay um i may as well bring a large solar well, i don't know we can just build it in place so we'll just show that uh I'll tell you what i'm gonna do oh i am gonna bring an rc explorer with me which i don't have on mars right now but i actually have underground so that's okay we'll be able to we're, we're still gonna have one that's gonna be fine um you know what we're probably okay like that so i'm gonna go ahead and hit request I'm going to pop over to my underground view because my RC Explorer over here. Yeah, we're just going to tell you to go and use the elevator to go back up to the surface. There we are. And so that has now been loaded. We're waiting for fuel to get loaded in here. Machine parts, metal, polymers. But I have lots of resource around here. Ooh, erratic object. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I don't need applicants. I don't really don't need that science either. Tell you what, I'll take the applicants over here. We got lots of little pop-ups for that with our recon, and it's actually fairly valuable. You can see, like, again, super, super late game uh, situation over here. I have, like, infinitude of all resources, Fun effectively. I've built all the wonders. There we go. We're going to launch. This rocket's going to go super fast. I am running this game with the optional game mode that you can do at the start of the game, where my rockets go, like, ten times faster. So it's going to get there more or less instantly. There you go. Alpha number one has arrived at Vitterman. And there we go. Oh, I'm very happy I bought the, brought the RC Explorer. Um, I'm going to try to drop you yeah, somewhere centered up a little bit. I guess something like this is going to work. Anomaly found. Found our anomalies. That's great. Although one is well, currently inaccessible, but we'll be able to build a ramp. That's going to be okay. Heck, I can even bring an RC Dozer with me if I wanted to. Let me go and put Auto Explore on you. Uh, seed ve Vegetation. Oh, right. I did the, um, the Seeding Vegetation mission back on Mars just to increase the plant life. Okay, you can see we do have this timer over here. We're going to have to keep an eye on, but overall we're going to be okay. I'm going to put down my prefab of my extractor. It will need some power, so I'll just go and do something a little like this. Then we'll put down, I don't know, how about a couple of solar panels? Chunk, no chunk. active research. And research a battery complete. like that. You know what? We'll just cancel the research for now. It's going to be okay. What I'm going to want is a little bit of uh, storage. First of all, I'm going to put a universal storage depot for any metal and polymers and things we brought with us. Uh, and then just like with the seeds, the universal depot doesn't have a spot for exotic minerals. So we'll make sure to go and do that. There you go. We got power and we should have net power over here. So it is going to charge the battery for nighttime. Anomaly. The day night cycle nice. still works. Though initially fruitless. We re so the anomaly did give us a water deposit, which I don't need, but it also gave me 4,000 science, which these sorts of things were really useful over the course of the game. Again, this particular save, I'm done all my tech. I just want to have everything unlocked to make sure that I could demo everything properly. Um, but this is really valid, but it's pretty easy. I mean, 1.5 billion is not cheap. This thing's not free, but once you've got it and you start hitting all these bad boys, um, you get a lot more science, a lot more anomalies. Uh, let me go ahead and get ready to dig over here. If I go ramp and let me just uh, make this is fairly tiny, actually. And there you go. We'll do that. I'll bring down the priority, but the drones will start working on that, which is going to be OK. I mean, I could bring up the priority, but I kind of want the drones to look after other things first. No, no anomaly was scanned. We got some science out of it. Large water deposit found. Wow, there really is a lot of water on this planet. 
So we'll see. I don't know if I can get more breakthroughs. I'm, it's possible that my, like, <laughs> we got a lot of breakthroughs here. I'm playing as Paradox Interactive as my mission sponsor, so you do get more breakthroughs from anomalies. Um, and the mystery I did, which I can't remember what it's called, but I think also gave me, gifted me with three breakthroughs at the end of it. So we've got quite a few, and I'm not going to complain about uh, not having enough breakthroughs there. There you go. Ramp complete. My drones will go back to doing this. And yeah, what we can do is we can make a few trips back and forth as these resources pile up, because it might take me a couple of trips to unload everything from the planet. Hey, the fast radio burst choice that I made earlier from our anomaly scanning, or sorry, our recon stuff, uh, gave me another colonist with a genius trait. You'll see I have quite a few geniuses already from those events and a couple other things that have happened along the way, which is really nice. Andy. We've just confirmed the location of a... And there we go. We Oh! It's this anomaly here. We still have this one down here. I'm curious is what that's going to give us. And what I can do is I can flip back over, take a look at Mars, make sure everything's going okay here. Looking good. We'll go ahead and land you. That's going to be fine. How's my underground going on? These are all running at the background at the same time. So what this expansion does is really, for people who like surviving Mars, it gives you a lot more surviving Mars. Um, and for, in particular, I like how many extra events with uh, and, and flavor that we're getting out of it, uh, because I really like those. I like the anomalies. I like the random um, just situations that can come up that force you to make a decision, sometimes good, sometimes bad. Uh, I think, do I have the tech? To box up prefabs. The I think explorer I do. made a thorough scan. Oh, this one was a dud. Boo! Oh well. You can't win them all. And there you go. I'm having my drones over here picking up some more exotic minerals from the surface down below, which is quite good. Um. Oh, it's not in the list. There you go. Prefab, refab. We want that. Yeah, and then the game's just gonna auto repeat the uh, the ones over here. Tell you what, I'll queue a bunch of those to doesn't bug me about it but there's a tech that lets us box up buildings back into prefab form which is going to be quite good i could bring more prefabs from mars or i could bring more raw materials and construct another little auto miner over here but these deposits they're, they're never like huge um it might be worth let me do this it'll use more power but that's going to be okay i definitely can't do the fuel extractor because i don't have excess fuel but we can get you to mine this out a little bit faster and then yeah um maybe i'll get the tech by that point i mean my tech rate is pretty good over here so i should be able to box it up and move it over there there are earth sick i know earth sick colonists they're earth earth sick um retirees All right if i click here it's just my retirement dome there you get to go there what i should do is uh, i'm just gonna bring an empty cargo rocket to be ready to pick those up do i have more than one Oh, you're over here. Do I actually want to? Should seed some more vegetation, actually. Do that. And actually, I have so much money. What I should do, because I because I have my wonders, right? Because I have my fully upgraded moho mine over here, and then I have my space elevator. So all I'm doing is shoving rare metals into space over and over. I mean, again, this is the ultra late game. Uh, I haven't technically completed every single milestone because I haven't gone up in the colonist count or worked on some of these workshops. I'm surprised we haven't hit the first rainfall. Maybe we need 75% for that. Because I know with some of the trees... The mixed trees, do I need... Yeah, I need 75% water, 75% temperature. So there's still a little bit more to do. And fair enough. Oh. Get out of the way here. There we go. Do that. And then what I can do is come over here. And you know what? It might be a good idea to, uh, to do a launch at this point. Collect some of the resources. I'm going to go ahead and do that just to be able to show it off. So what we're going to do is we're going to plan a return to Mars. Um, what we can do is we can manually choose what to load. You can also leave on the auto load and you can you can set priorities. So for example, exotic minerals, we go request, it'll load things up. Now, the way I'm doing this right now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna leave a bunch of sites here without uh, drone access, but that's actually okay because the auto extractor is still gonna be running. Assuming it doesn't need repairs, it should still be running and it'll accumulate exotic minerals. Yeah, so you can see it just went up over there and then we'll be able to Colonists come back. Are departing. You know, cost me a little bit extra fuel, but that's okay. Research like uh, using this launch pad over here for that. You can leave, ooh, orc cloud. Oh ho ho! Hey, at this point, it's so late in the game that I don't really need anything, but I don't know, we'll take more money, because money's good. 
and you're ready to take off as well. All right, go ahead and do that. Here we go. This guy's just arrived. We'll unload, reload the fuel, and then we can go right back to the asteroid, which is this one over here, where things are still progressing, and we can get more exotic materials. Take a look at the downstairs. You can see one of these asteroids turning red here, turns red over time as they're going to disappear. This one's great because I haven't visited Akira, so I can't actually switch to it. Interstellar asteroid, pass just out of reach. We get these nice little pop-ups. Everything downstairs seems to be okay, although we have way too many people over here, so clearly I should be gnoming a little bit more over there. But I think this is going to be a great place for us to wrap up the episode. Um, so lots of... Ooh, what's idle here? Okay, metal extractor. Oh yeah, there's the, the refab! Cool! So I mean, I could, I could take it apart to get some of the raw materials, but I may as well keep the prefab around um, for future production. That's actually super cool! Feels really good and recyclable. There you go, one of the asteroids has left range. It's okay, it's not the one we were on, so there's no problem with that. And yeah, I have all my uh, all my crazy wonders going on over here. Is there any other way to deal with this? I don't think so, right? I think what this is there, I think there are mods. But I don't think there's anything in the Research game complete. that lets you deal with these vents. Martian cop. yeah, that's the other way we're gonna get infinite money from just running these copyrights. At this point, I could dismantle all my research labs because there's literally nothing to do over there. Um, <laughs> have I ever gotten this deep? I've been playing this save forever. I've really been enjoying playing Surviving Mars again. Um, how many hours do I have in total on Steam in this game? It is, yeah, I have nearly 350 hours in this game. And admittedly, it's not quite as much as like EU4, but that's a lot of hours in a game. Okay, yeah, that asteroid is gone. That's okay, totally fine. And yeah, what I can do is I can prep this one to return to Vitterman. And I don't need to bring the metal or the concrete. I mean, we'll still want the drones and I'm still gonna need 65 fuel. But I also don't need to bring this prefab. Basically, I'm just sending this rocket back empty so that it'll have lots of room to bring back all the resources from Vitterman once everything has been extracted over there. Folks, we're going to wrap up this video. Again, you can check the links down in doobly-doo for more information about this expansion uh, and uh, as where you can get it. Uh, it does release September 7th which should be just a few days after this video goes live. Um, maybe you can pre-order it and things. Um, I don't know what the link actually looks like at the time that I'm recording it, but uh, all the information should be down there. I hope you guys enjoy Surviving Mars as much as I do, because I really enjoy this game. It's so chill, it's so relaxed. The only downside is when I make my videos, I can't play the uh, Quantum Sonics channel, which is my favorite channel, uh, because some of it uh, was, you know, it's third-party license stuff, and uh, Yubtub doesn't appreciate that. Oh, but it's so good. All right, well, I'm going to stop the video here so I can switch back to my favorite radio station. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.